Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you so, so much for the love on the neon 80s themed right now. Honestly, I'm having too much fun. In this video, we are continuing on with it. We're gonna be using the Let's Resin acrylic markers as well as the Let's Resin epoxy resin on the first layer. And oh my gosh, guys, we're going massive large scale. Also, just to add, I haven't forgotten about this. You remember this video a few weeks back, a few weeks back, a few videos back, it went a bit wrong. I have started it again and I'm gonna let the Jesmonite cure for several days before I back it. So I haven't forgotten that video is coming. It's gonna be a like for like comparison. Now the mold I'm using is the oval tray mold from Molds and Shapes. You can of course use any mold that you have if you wanna follow this technique. But guys, let me tell you, if you remember the last video, now the results weren't as bright as I wanted them to be, but I fell head over heels in love with the little cassette tapes that I drew and I just really wanted to try them again. But I wanted to do it on a much more bigger, bolder, in your face, fatter design. I wanted the cassette tapes to be the main character in another project and that is what led me here. So again I've mixed up my Let's Resin epoxy resin and I've just poured it in. Now it was a bit chilly this morning, I did put part A in a hot bath for all of five minutes but yeah I did spend some time using my heat gun, blowing the resin all around the tray just to diminish any bubbles that were possibly left. But the Let's Resin resin is really quite clear anyway, so I wasn't too worried about it. Once I'd done that, 24 hours later, it was time to do our designs. Now, like I said, the cassettes. Honestly, I'm a tad obsessed. I maybe need help, I don't know. But for whatever reason, this has just brought back nothing but nostalgia for me. Um, so yeah, those tiny little cassette tapes that I drew on the tray in the last video, I wanted to go large scale, but also just talk you through how easy they are to do. And they are as simple as drawing a rectangle. Now, these acrylic marker pens from Let's Resin have got a fat, chunky, chiseled tip, and also a nice, thin, um, pointed tip as well on the other side, double-sided pens. Gotta love a double-sided pen. So of course, use whichever side you want. I just used the fat, chunky side um, to draw the outline. I used the chisel edge to draw the outline and then the point of the chisel to draw some of the details in between. And then I'm gonna use the pointed end to do something, <laughs> something else to add a little bit to them. But yes, one big chunky rectangle four circles in each corner of the rectangle and then this kind of, is it a trapezium? Like a trapezium shape at the bottom. Again, I just got this from Google. I literally typed into Google cassette tape outline drawing and this is the exact image that came up. And I mean, it does look like a cassette tape. I'm not giving it all of the bells and whistles. I'm not going crazy with the three dimensionals. Um, one of you did mention in my last video that the cassette tapes should have like all of the tape flowing out of it <laughs> and just tra traumatize us even more and bring back all of those memories of the cassette getting tangled up in the machine and we'd be devastated because it was our favorite music and we'd have to try and rip the tape out of the machine without ripping in the tape and oh the trauma I'm glad that we've all had this shared experience and you're all sharing your memories of using cassette tapes in the comment sections of my videos I'm honestly having too much fun reading them um if you have just recently joined my channel I stopped replying to all comments on 70,000 subscribers. It just became a full-time job for me. Um, so every now and again, I, I, I do read them. It's just I can't reply to everybody, but I do want you to know that I see them and I appreciate them so, so much. Back to the tray, <laughs> I carried on regardless. Like I just carried on with the swirls, the triangles, the squiggly lines, the scribbles. Again, I wanted to pack this tray out with all of those graphics that bring back memories of the 80s and early 90s. Again, this could easily go back to the 70s as well, depending on the colors you use. I did a, vi a video recently where it really gave me 70s vibes and I'm very tempted to go back to those 70s 
oranges and browns <laughs> like clothes I wore when I was little and very in ren, ren what's the word I'm looking for guys <laughs> They look like my carpets, basically. My carpets and the wallpapers with the orange flowers. Like, oh my goodness, stop it. Okay, this tray's gonna get two big, fat, chunky cassette tapes. But if I'm honest, you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing. As they all say, I wish I did just cassette tapes. Once I'd seen the results, I think it would have looked pretty incredible if the whole tray was just packed with cassette tapes going off in all directions, multi-layered, you know, layering them on top of each other in with the pen. Um, but yeah, I only did two. And I kind of wish at this point I carried on and I just did nothing but cassette tapes. I think that would have been very, very cool. Again, a few wavy lines. Whatever you decide to do, whatever mould you decide you want to use, your designs, your patterns, your squiggles. It's really all up to you what doodles you decide to put on your pieces. Um, again, I've never claimed to be a very good drawer. I think the cassette tapes are really simple rectangles with lines and circles, quite an easy graphic. Um, however, if you would prefer to go down the Cricut vinyl route, then none of this stage would really matter to you. If you wanted to do something like this, my advice would be simply pour your epoxy resin straight into the tray. Nothing needed but your epoxy resin um, and the neons. Pour it straight into the tray, demold the tray and then stick your Cricut decals down onto the cured resin. That would give you such a crisp, crisp design. Way crisper than me drawing <laughs> the outlines of these patterns. But the fun, honestly, this is just so much fun. I kind of get lost in it and just, yeah, zone out. So, so fun. A few triangles here and there and referencing back to Google for any more 80s images. And guys, oh my gosh, so many of you have sent me images of nine, 80s tracksuits, like 80s hoodies and 80s coats and all of those neons. Thank you so, so much because I've had so many links sent through like Amazon sell actual 80s costumes. That's <laughs> quite depressing when you think about it, like vintage 80s, like no, no, because the 1980 was literally 12 years ago and I will not accept anything else than that. Um, but yeah, this is what we are looking like at this point and then it was time to mix up the resin. I am getting a little bit ahead of myself in the voiceover, but the, what I did do, you guys remember, you could see through the little window. There was a little window on the cassette and you could see through it and it would show you how much tape was in there and whether it was on the left or the right. So whether the tape had been rewound or forwarded and whether it was kind of like split between. So like you'd have some on the left, some on the right. And you always used to know if that meant the tape was rewound or not because you could see the roll of tape. So I just added in those sections there. And then I thought I'd get a little bit more brave and use the thin tip on the pen. So I put the chisel away and I opened up the other side of the pen, which gives me a really fine nib and you can write with that. So again, I'm writing upside down and backwards and all of the things to make sure that when we flip this tray around, we can read it from the other side. So just make sure you do that if you do do this because Lord knows we've all made mistakes. I've made multiple mistakes and you would have seen that in a recent video when I used tattoos and I put them on the resin. But yes, I'm literally just having fun here. But I'm also not really worried about my handwriting because I remember having tapes and my writing would be all over the place. So I'm not I'm not thinking to myself, this has to be neat, Claire, this has to be neat. I want this to look like a handwritten sticky label on a cassette tape. So again, allow yourself that as the artist to just, yeah. I couldn't get my head around this one for some reason. I realised I was starting the wrong side and I was trying to write it backwards and then I thought, well, this doesn't make any sense. Like, why have I... Why have I started it this side? So yeah, this one sent me into a bit of a tiz and you can see me starting on the other side because that made more sense to me. Like, yeah, sometimes when you're working back to front, it does send you a little bit and you just have to kind of 
maybe close your eyes and see it in your mind's eye and then you can get it down and write it down but yeah I did <laughs> I did start writing on the wrong side of the label and also on one of the cassettes I've written it I've written it upside down so technically speaking if you're looking at the cassette you'd have to turn the cassette around the right way you'll see what I mean when we demold but yes so much fun doing this guys and of course this is all up to you I'm literally writing like greatest hits 1980 to 1985 once this was all done I decided I couldn't put any more on this tray and it was time to back so I am backing these trays again with the let's resin for our cure which does necess it does get quite thick it's quite a thick resin um but at this point it doesn't really matter because it's got loads of color in there i'm packing the let's resin neon powders in there so i'm not too concerned if any bubbles are in there because we're not gonna see them the other thing to mention about this let's resin neon powder is that it is powder it's not mica it's hugely different to mica powder if you've used both of these you'll know mica powder is like the finest preciousest preciousest <laughs> calm down claire it's the finest fly away dust whereas these neon powders are quite a heavy weighty powder so just i'm just taking a little bit of extra time making sure they are fully mixed in and that was really all and here's the thing. <laughs> My intention here was to add two colours together that I know would go together. And if they blended, that's okay. They would just create another colour. But my intention here was to have it going down in stripes. Now, we all know resin does what resin wants. And the chances are they're going to melt together and create a new colour. And I was okay with that because... I knew that these two colours would work regardless. So I had a ton of yellow, absolute ton. Instead of making two pots, I decided to then add some pink in on top of the yellow to give us a coral, like a corally colour. Um, then I immediately started panicking because the yellow was be being dominated at this point by that orangey coral colour. And part of me was like no I want to see that yellow that yellow neon is what I'm a tad obsessed with right now and I've kind of messed it up I should have put way more yellow and just a little bit of that coral at that pink added just a little bit but instead it's gone the other way around and I thought hey why not just create a pattern then and this is probably the worst thing I could have done because all I've done here is basically mix them even more together than I wanted them to be in the first place regardless we're gonna get a super cool funky pattern and some bright bright 80s colors now this again is the next day and it is time to demold and the cassette tapes look amazing i love them so so much the color however oh gutted again <laughs> hi if you've been with me a while none of my videos turn out the way i expect well majority um have got something in there that i'm not <laughs> totally au fait with but here we are, look, 80s hits, 1980 to 1985. I love them. Top 10. Stop it. And then on the other one, you can see I've had to turn it round because I think I wrote it the wrong way. One of them was written the wrong way round. I, I don't know. Like, yeah, the one on the right was written the other way round. Like, I should have written it. I, do you know what I mean? Am I making sense? But anyway, they look really, really cool. One says love songs and one says my tape because I used to put my name on my cassettes. But I love the yellow around the edges. I absolutely love that yellow. It is unreal. I just wasn't sure about the fact that the orange stroke coral dominated the tray but yeah I did send this over to my patrons on Patreon so thank you so so much for your encouraging words you guys are always <laughs> on my side you've got me um I appreciate you all for you know saying how much you still love the colors and I worry too much guys a little sneak peek at how this neon powder reacts in jasmine eye I am buzzing at how bright these are I'm also going to hopefully do a video very very soon on using all of the ecos and the neon powder to see if it works in all of them but also i was thinking oh you know if this jesmonite and epoxy resin video works out and we don't get any more epoxy resin bowing out of the tray 
what if we did something like this and then used our piping bottles to pipe the Jesmonite on the back of the image, making each cassette tape a different colour, like the label would be a different colour, the end of the tape would be a different colour, the, the screws in the corners would be different colours, you know, make it really, really funky and then just back it in a black or back it in a white. Like there's so many ideas. I literally have a list, but I love these. And I love the fact that you can see the black tape there. And just to add to the trauma, I thought I would get out a pencil and show you all what we were all talking about. One of you amazing guys, listen. Oh, if you read the comments on the last video, they're very funny. One of you said like, if anyone can actually link a cassette tape to a pencil and tell me what the relationship is there you go I got the pencil out for you um but yeah the trauma was real the trauma was real but yes this is what we're looking like let me know your thoughts I absolutely love the drawing of the cassette tapes and I wish I just left all of the other stuff out and we could have just had a packed a fully packed cassette tape tray but let me know your thoughts and let me know if you are into the 80s as well I know we've been through this in the other video <laughs> you've left me so many comments I appreciate you all massively let me know what you would what oh let me know what you used to write on your cassette tapes did you actually write on the cassette what was on the cassette or did you lie a little like was it love songs and you just wrote rock ballads <laughs> Let me know. I hope you've enjoyed and you feel a tad inspired to draw your own designs on your epoxy resin and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, have an amazing couple days. Bye!